Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about growth. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, would you say that the growth path is limited for a software developer who hates working with other people? It depends on what, uh, what type of growth you're looking for. If you're looking to be a freelancer or like a, a, cons a specialist or a consultant or something like that, then it's less of it has less of an impact on your overall career, I would say. But if you're talking about making it to like becoming a tech lead or an architect or a CTO or like anything that has is associated with. Uh, uh, well, basically, it being something more than a specialist, I would say, then yes, uh, there is no way for you to uh, make it to uh, become like a person with influence within IT uh, without working with people. Uh, it's really uh, like no one has a uh, like you will need to work with other developers if you're going to be able to make it to that level. Uh, and it's not necessarily because, I mean, there are different ways of working with people. Uh, of course, some people don't like collaboration or like they kind of just want to do their own thing and not be bothered by other people because it's, I don't know, they prefer to work in isolation. Uh, and as I said, that can work, but it's never going to get you, you uh, you're not going to get promoted uh, when you do something like that. You're basically going to stay as like just coding. Uh, at most and I mean if that is what you want that is what you want uh, my suggestion to you though is that as you as you grow older uh, you will start to realize more and more I think that there is only so much value you can derive from being quote unquote just a software developer sooner or later you're going to realize that you're going to have to make a fundamental decision and that is uh, do you want to code exclusively basically for the rest of your career unless you obviously said like you can of course start your own company because we're going to touch on that a little bit as well but uh, that is what it comes down to uh, and it's the same decision basically anybody who goes into any type of higher levels within any company or politics or business or whatever right sooner or later you're going to have to make that choice are you the person or do you want to be the person who does everything with like just handed work like the worker or do you want to be the leader these are basically your two options and the growth path will stop for you very sharply at senior level level after about uh, five to ten years ish after that, you're not going to move very far, uh, most likely, within software. You're not going to move upwards. Your salaries are mostly. You're not going to see like a, most likely like a significant bump in pay rise unless you do the thing that a lot of software developers do, or, are doing, which is like you're not moving upwards. You're moving diagonally uh, or horizontally, where you're basically just moving from company to company, trying to get the like most amount of money for whatever services you have. Uh, you're offering and I mean you can earn quite a lot in terms of uh, like uh, it's not like you're gonna be poor I promise you that much you're gonna earn quite uh, quite uh, hefty but you're not gonna increase your impact if that makes sense which is the thing that most companies are looking for when they're looking for like taking people up to a higher and higher level and the impact is a very important part uh, because the impact is the thing that dictates if companies are willing to pay for your services and this is the thing that we is important to know you could be the world's best software developer and still not be hired by anybody because if you have such issues working with other people that they perceive you as being someone who's not going to communicate or you know you know we can't really trust that you're going to try to work with the other people cuz this is a team and endeavor guys Everybody in IT works in teams. You're not going to be able to sit in complete isolation in every company. Some companies are going to overlook the fact that you're doing that at most likely a, uh, 
uh, few uh, more than a few companies but it's not going to be the norm the norm is that you need to have a it's like I, like so I try to explain to people and they say, ask me should I focus on this or that and I go well that's like asking when you're making a, like a, making a meal if you're making dinner or something like that and I you just ask me it's like asking should I just use uh, salt or should I use pepper or should I just use meat or should I just use salad like you can't be extreme about these things guys in order for you to make something like, consumable you're gonna have to have the right amount of everything and not liking to work with people is unfortunately contrary it's gonna work against you but it can work it's just not gonna help your your, your, your career as I said it's gonna stop at this the second you find that there are just a few companies who have an interest in hiring someone like that because even if you might have 10 20 years of experience nobody is going to pay you like the like the you're not going to be able to leverage those years because as you gain years the the amount of coding you can do by yourself becomes less relevant for the companies because if you're going to justify all that cost that you're most likely going to build up because usually people get very expensive when they get really really good at software development if you're going to continue that they're going to want you to take a greater responsibility for the work that is happening because even the world's best software developer cannot justify a like it is not going to be able to have a, a, an impact that is all that great outside of their own coding okay unless you take a responsibility that requires you to work with other people and even if you try you're probably going to find that working with other people it's different extremes right if they put you in a team which like i mean working as a one solo developer like the only people who get to do that basically are working in a very specific situation or they're working in a company that is so small that it's i'm not sure it's a hundred I, I don't know what they're going to get paid at that level but it's very unlikely that they're ever going to like you're you're going to stagnate to the point where you're not going to learn how to work in a professional capacity for sure you're not gonna because working in isolation is like that on is only possible usually at a very small scale and that brings us to starting your own company so if you decide that this thing like working with other people and so forth is an issue for you or like it's not something that you really want to do well then you have the option of working as a, like a lone wolf type of character and become like you're an expert in some system or work on your own company or something like that but that brings me to the thing I was just saying that also means that your potential skill level now this is not just gonna limit your career in terms of like uh, salary it's gonna limit it's gonna limit your technical understanding as well depending of course it on situation now because if your aim is to work in say web well the top-notch web developers uh, who are like the best of the best know usually how to run an entire IT company and they know how to do that in line with what like the really large corporations are doing they know they have and the reason why they know that is because they've worked in those sorts of environments usually where the high ends of like all the, everything in terms of software delivery is, is happening but the people who usually work uh, in at a very very small scale they don't really need to learn all that much about CI pipelines and like uh, structuring work or how to uh, host and run uh, like large-scale systems etc etc they can of course learn these things but it's very difficult to gain experience with this sort of thing and so no large-scale project or no large-scale companies it's very unlikely that they're gonna want to hire you to do something that you don't really know how to do at, in a proficient manner. The only people who are going to allow you to sort of work on a system like that are the people who are usually small time companies, they don't really know what they're buying, they just want a website or something like that, or smaller projects where they just need someone to jump in and help them out with their systems and so forth. And the reason for that is, as I said, because you you are usually dealing with smaller scale problems than you are if you're the sort of person who has had fair, a fair bit of experience working in multi, like cross-functional teams at larger scale with like the 
the full-fledged setup of uh, what a web developer usually faces in large-scale projects. So what I want you to take away from this is that yes, your growth path is going to be pretty damn limited if you don't like working with other people, but it really comes down to how extreme do you want to be about this thing. I mean, there are guys, I have co-workers who don't really want to sit in meetings and they don't want to be managers or things like that, and that's perfectly fine. They're going to be able to code for quite a few years, it's just that they have to set their expectations accordingly. If you only do the coding and you don't take on like any type of responsibilities or anything like that, then your higher ability as you grow older and as you you mature becomes more and more limited because the reality is that even the world's best software developer is going to have a very hard time swinging getting the same sort of money as someone who is like a I don't know what we call them a true senior as I like to call them the sort because a, a true senior is going to out earn usually a person who has like a mid-level software developer and unless you start working with people and know how to work in teams and things like that and you know how to like deal with a system setup that is at the corporate level which is going to include working in a team that's how they do it it's going to be almost impossible for you to to swing that unless you, as I said you work on your own like as a freelancer or a consultant or something like that and you premier, primarily deal with people who just hire you as a specialist for very like uh, for a specific situation etc etc and even then I don't see a way for you to avoid working with people you might just be able to work m in more isolation if that makes sense so uh, my guess is that there are going to be situations where you're going to be able to swing the thing that you're looking for but on average you're going to have let's just say that you're going to be a little bit more limited in terms of what companies are probably going to be interested in your services if you don't deal well with people have a great day